Security forces in Kenya have fired live rounds and tear gas at protesters opposed to the presidential election rerun, which is underway. Go. Opposition leader Raila Odinga has asked his supporters to boycott what he called a sham election. The polls opened a few hours ago, except in Odinga's stronghold of Kisumu, where some voting material hasn't even been delivered. We don't want anything like ballot boxes or what. We are not going to vote and we are not going to allow it. Our hope for the country is that uh, whoever emerges the winner will be able to unite the country. I've supported President Uhuru Kenyatta so much because we want to avoid hostility. We want love in our country so that we can work together in building the nation. Shortly, we will get the latest from Catherine Soy in the opposition stronghold of Kisumu. First, though, let's go to Famita Miller in Kiambu County. So um, the voting there where you are, how does that compare to what you know about what's happening at other polling stations? Well, Rochelle, the scenes here are quite different to what we saw at a number of polling stations in Nairobi. There seems to be a significant turnout in this area. It is, of course, a jubilee, the governing party's stronghold. So expectations were that people would come out to vote for uh, incumbent president Uhuru Kenyatta. But at some other polling stations uh, in Nairobi, we saw people trickling in, uh, also a significant uh, security presence. Um, and talking to election observers there, they said that the number of people coming in compared to the August 8th election seemed to be uh, significantly lower. Now, also in the opposition stronghold in Kibera, uh, we have seen uh, running battles between uh, police and uh, protesters there who've either barricaded entrances to polling stations, who've uh, set fires, and uh, police have responded with tear gas. Now, uh, President Uhuru Kenyatta cast his vote earlier in the day, and uh, he used that opportunity to urge Kenyans to come out to vote, saying that for those who weren't voting, it is the democratic right. But he was also saying that Kenya has been in a period of electioneering for far too long and the cycle needs to come to an end. Uh, so essentially, because we have the opposition leader, Rayla Odinga, not participating, it's expected that Uhuru Kenyatta will win this election and possibly uh, have normality return to the lives of, of many Kenyans across the country. Okay, Famita, thank you very much. Now, as Famita referenced, um, the president of Kenya, Uhuru Kenyatta, he did cast his vote, and while there, he appealed for calm. We are requesting them humbly that they should turn out in large numbers, cast their vote, make their decision, choose their leader, and uh, for our country to move on, because I believe that uh, we have, we're tired as a country of electioneering. It's time we move forward. Those who are desirous to vote should be allowed to vote. Those who do not wish to vote, it is also their democratic right. But no right supersedes another. And I am appealing to Kenyans to please allow each and every one of us to exercise our right. Catherine Soy joins us from Kisumu in western Kenya. So where you are, Catherine, have the polls open? Is there even really going to be an election where you are? Polls have not opened, uh, Michelle, and it seems uh, from where I am and from our observations, it's very unlikely that there's going to be an election taking place in this area. Earlier, we were at a polling station. We actually struggled very much uh, to get even one open polling station. Uh, all of them were closed. So we finally found one, and we spoke to electoral com uh, officials there who were saying the biggest concern and the biggest problem is actually getting uh, ballot materials to the various uh, polling stations stations, uh, not just because of the security, but also because people are just not willing to transport these materials to where they're supposed to be transported to. Uh, there was also concern that uh, electoral commission uh, staff members like clerks have not come to work as well, a lot of them citing security reasons. So that has been a big challenge uh, when we were talking to these electoral officials. So right now we are in Kondele, one um, of the areas where protests have been sustained uh, since um, uh, since August and there's been 
running battles between police and protesters. Uh, we've had there have been uh, running battles in other areas as well. In the last hour or so, uh, Michelle, we've seen uh, several ambulances zooming past, uh, heading in uh, to this area, perhaps going to pick up uh, people who've been injured. Uh, police have been firing uh, tear gas at a, a group of mostly uh, men uh, who are on the other side uh, trying to push them back and then these people have been using slings uh, to throw stones at police. They're very angry, very frustrated, saying that they will not accept uh, Uhuru Kenyatta win, they will not accept his presidency as well. All right, Catherine Soy live for us in Kisumu. Catherine, thank you. Tawas Fagamba.